Guess who's going foraging? We are! We are going to be going and picking some saffron milk caps if we can find them, which we're hoping. We're going up to a nearby pine for us, so it should be should be good fun. going to be hunting for some saffron milk caps today we're not in the right area at the moment I'm waiting for a friend I'm gonna meet him up in the park over there and then we're heading out into the pine forest so I'm so excited never had this issue before. I am in state forestry and I can't find the pine forest. I have been driving around for like an hour and a half now and yes there's, there's a couple of pines but it's mostly natives. I don't, I've never not been able to find a pine forest in state forestry before. Yeah. This is embarrassing. So many mushrooms, but So I believe this is a saffron milk cap. It's uh, had the hollow inside before I destroyed it. Um, and it's bleeding that bright orange stuff. But uh, a bit damaged, so I'm gonna leave that one there. There's another one over there. So at least I've seen the mushroom that I want, I think. So that's a start. All right, so now we are waiting for Oliver to turn up and he is taking his sweet time. So, Oliver, hurry the hell up. I want to go mushroom finding. I'd messaged Oliver that morning telling him I was going hunting for mushrooms. He said, you know what? I'll be there in two hours. I need more friends like this willing to join me on my crazy schemes. Are you excited like, that you like, come? Sorry. Yeah, no, I was so excited. When he said, oh, I'm going to Oli, I'm like, I'm literally going to drive past. After all the drama of trying to find these mushrooms, once we had found them, it was all of five minutes before our baskets were full and there were still so many left for other foragers to find in the coming days. We spent the next couple of hours searching through the area, looking at mosses and lichens and the waterfalls chatting to some other mushroom enthusiasts that we found along the way. I love that texture with the moss in it.
I know some amazing canyons that you would really, really enjoy. Um, and you probably wouldn't catch trout, but you would definitely catch yabbies. Yeah, they're like electric blue as well. Eventually it was time to leave. Oliver had to get up to his family farm and I had to go pick up the kids from school. Well, for having a shitty start and not being able to find the area I wanted, it ended up being absolutely fantastic. We got a, an amazing haul of uh, saffron milk caps, which I'm going to have some for dinner tonight with my family and I'm going to preserve the rest and I've taken my buddy's home, one's home with me, so I'll dehydrate them and then send them on their way to him. But all in all, that was a very, very fun outing and absolutely beautiful area. Okay, so I am back home now and I've got my mushrooms. I've just cleaned a bunch of them and I'm deciding what to do with them. Don't mind all the dishes and messy kitchen behind me. It's a family kitchen. It's gonna be messy. Um, and I'm thinking, so most of them will go in the dehydrator um, to preserve for future soups and stews and things. And I'm gonna eat some fresh tonight. So I'm just cutting sort of two centimeter wide chunks and these will be the ones that are gonna get dehydrated which means they'll turn into fairly thin strips, which will be absolutely perfect to adding to things like ramen. So I've read that you can add these in the place of things like shiitake mushrooms, and that would be delicious. So, saffron milk caps are also known as pine mushrooms and that is because they live exclusively around pine trees. We've got a few little ring-like structures on most of the caps. I don't know if you can see that one as well. You'll see they also have this uh, little pitting section around the, uh, the stem as well. Thing is, this was my first time actually going out and foraging mushrooms, although I was pretty sure what I was looking for. Um, these mushrooms actually bleed a sort of bright orange liquid. Um, they don't have any woolly fibers around here, and they're hollow on the inside. They start to bruise sort of a bluish color after a little while. The younger ones have this nice little divot, and before they sort of scoop out into this, um, so, um, there's sort of three good development stages, I guess. So while we are new to foraging for mushrooms, we did actually talk to a mushroom guy who confirmed that these are indeed saffron milk caps, so we're pretty confident in what we're eating. I wouldn't, um, wouldn't just go grab a mushroom out of the bush if I wasn't very certain of what I was eating. Also, there's Facebook groups for identifying mushrooms if you're ever even slightly unsure. Always better to ask. Ooh, I did not clean that one well enough. It's my brush. I think it's this last little one. So sweet. Half of those will go to me and my family and the other half will go to Oliver who is out foraging with me. Um, so he gets to enjoy those as well. Alrighty, so these two are going to be helping me make our dinner tonight. We're actually going to fry these, I think. I'm going to coat them in some egg and some salt and pepper and a few other bits and pieces, maybe some herbs. Then we're going to serve them up in a sort of rice bowl with some vegetables, I think. Mama, so we'll see how that goes. Can I put some of my cat in? Uh, no. 
flour, alright, this is egg, now you're going to dip the mushroom in the egg like this, yeah, and Kaylin is going to dip the mushroom and coat it in flour. Good, great job guys. Chicken cooked this way. Like, a lot. Tastes like chicken. Not what I expected. If you enjoyed watching our little mushroom hunt, I would love it if you could like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more of this sort of video. Thank you!